All right, guys, today we're gonna to be going over the XG Cargo Icebox coming in at $149.99. We're gonna go over its specs and most importantly, how it stacks up in real world testing with ice. All right, so this is a 21 quart cooler. It's 16 wide, 13 high, and 12 deep. It's coming in around three-ish pounds, much lighter than a hard-sided cooler of its similar size. It's got a 820D nylon shell, waterproof, of course. It's got RF welded seams. Seams are actually very, very strong on this. High quality zippers by YKK. Anti-microbial liner. And a built-in cutting board, which at first I thought was kind of gimmicky, but now that I've had it for a year, it's actually pretty cool to have. It comes in handy uh, just having the cooler around. It also provides a hard surface for the top of the cooler to put drinks and stuff on, which is a nice touch. We have a nice thicker rubber bottom for the shell of the cooler. It does have a dent in it. I'm not sure how I got it, but it's there as you can see in the pics. That's obviously my fault, but I do want to point out that soft-sided coolers are capable of being dented, of course, as opposed to a hard side. Opening and closing this cooler is a little bit harder to do and more time consuming than a hard side. As you can see there, we got the one inch insulation. And when you're opening and closing it, it tends to catch in the back, if not close a specific way. I dock at a point here because you really shouldn't have to know how to properly open and close a cooler. Not properly opening and closing this cooler could result in someone tearing the backside of that liner or ripping the zipper, or worse yet. If you close it properly a specific way, which I'll show you later in the vid, it opens and closes without it catching in the back, as you could see there. All right, a closer look at that cutting board. Cutting board pretty much just slides in and out of the top. It is a consumer grade, food grade cutting board. Cleans up really nice. Here's a close up of the waterproof liner. It's thick. I've never had any issues with it being poked or tears or anything like that. It's held up very well. And of course it is antibacterial. It cleans up with sanitation wipes, soap water, however you want to clean it, it holds up does not deteriorate with any chemical cleaning, which occasionally I do recommend you do for your coolers. All right, moving on to performance, the most important aspect of a cooler. I started the day with 20 pounds of ice, which is pretty much what this takes. Waking up on a full day later, you can see we got about 50% ice. It is a nice brick of ice there, totally solid, totally usable. Moving on to the second full day, We've lost about another 25% ice. However, it was still a really nice chunk of ice. I was very impressed for a soft side. So I checked the cooler of day two that evening before I went to bed, and this is what was remaining. There's still some ice in there. However, as you can see, we lost the majority of it. Water is still freezing cold. The third day that I woke up, there was no ice. However, the water was still absolutely ice cold. This is very impressive for a soft-sided cooler. All right, so obviously putting food or drinks in this cooler is gonna result in less ice in the cooler, which means it'll last less than the almost three days. However, in real world usage, I'm getting about a day and a half to two days, which actually puts this cooler, it takes it out of the category of a day use and puts it for me into the category of my spur of the moment one to two day trips, which is impressive. It's fantastic to have a small, soft-sided, lightweight cooler that I can use outside of just a beach day trip or a picnic. It puts me in the category of using it on a one to two day trip. All right, clearly this is not 100% leak proof. It did fail the leak test, leaked out of all four corners. For me, this is not a huge deal as I'm good about how I transport my coolers. For some, this will be a downside. However, keep in mind, there are expensive coolers out there that also will not pass the leak test. All right, moving on more closely into that zipper issue. I do, so I do wanna point out basically, it's the backside where you close it that catches. So you can see that piece sticking out. When you go to zip, you potentially could rip the zipper or rip the liner worse yet if you don't close it properly. I, again, I ding this a point because you shouldn't know well, you shouldn't have to know how to close a cooler. It should be straightforward. When closing it properly, as seen here, right down there and push in, it's no issue. 
All right, so one last glance over. All the wear and tear you see here that I'm gonna point out, this is after a really hard year of usage. Still holding up well. I mean, it's got some scuffs, you know, that dent, a stain, stuff like that. But zipper-wise, the stitching, the most important aspects are all rock solid as they were day one, especially in terms of the ice retention. It has not resulted in any loss of ice status. All right, so where does the cooler fall in the place and how does it stack up? The main competitor is gonna be the Arctic at $100. The Arctic does pass the leak test, which is impressive at $100. In terms of quality, the zipper, the stitching, they are very, very neck and neck. I am gonna give the nod to the XG as you get the built-in cutting board. It's more unique. It has a better warranty at three years versus one for the Arctic. And to test out their customer service, I reached out to them with an email and was greeted back within the same day, which is impressive. So all of that sums up and me giving it the Overland Dude approval and thumbs up. It's an amazing cooler. It's extremely well built, totally worth the price. And it's something you should consider if you're looking for a soft-sided cooler within this price point that is going to be anywhere from a one to two day trip cooler. Again, something you should totally consider at the top of your list. Well, that wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to get your gear. Get out there and enjoy God's beautiful creations.